Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all would be doing good. I am doing extremely fine and I welcome you all to yet another video. So this video is going to be all about the Volkswagen Tiguan GT. So the Tiguan comes in three variants: the Comfort Line, High Line, and the Top Line. So this variant is based on the High Line trim. The GT variant is based on the High Line trim. So yeah, let me know your thoughts about the video in the comment section below. And yeah, let me know what can I improve in the upcoming videos. And yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe if you have not. And yeah, enjoy the cinematic. So after discontinuing the much loved Polo and Vento after a decade in the Indian automobile industry, Volkswagen has now got three models in the Indian lineup. The most prestigious one being this, the Volkswagen Tiguan, which competes with the likes of the Jeep Compass and the Hyundai Tucson. The second one being the Volkswagen Virtus, which is essentially a replacement for the Vento and competes with the C segment teams like the Honda City, the Hyundai Verna. And this is also my current personal favorite in the performance line trim. and coming to the most important offering from the Volkswagen 2.0 strategy this is the Volkswagen Tiguan so the Tiguan is basically a compact SUV or SUV W as Volkswagen calls it and it competes with the and it competes in the most challenging segment of the Indian automobile industry which is the compact SUV segment and it goes head to head with the very popular Hyundai Creta the Kia Seltos and even its very own cousin the Skoda Kushak So the Tiguan and Kushak were the first offering in India from the 2.0 strategy and they both share the same MQB Azure and platform which is basically an Indian specific platform and has been localized for India. So there is a lot of part sharing between the two be it on the doors, powertrain, engine tuning, suspension, chassis etc. and there are only visual differences on the exterior as well as on the interior to differentiate the otherwise the same cars. So this is how the key of the Tiguan looks like. So basically, you've got this flip key and Volkswagen logo on the back side. You've got three buttons on the key. One is for locking the car. The second one is for hold button for the boot release, and the third one is for unlocking your car as well. So that was about the key. So coming to the front of the Tiguan now, you have got all halogen setup for the front headlamps in this variant, and the higher variants obviously get LED setups. And coming to the bottom, you've got a lot of chrome in the bumper, which is not according to my taste, but it is okay. Also, these are the fog lamps, which are also halogen. So the Tiguan is offered in two engine options. First one being the one liter TSI. The TSI stands here for turbocharged Stratify injection. Basically, it is a turbocharged engine, which puts out 115 PS and 172 Nm of torque, and is mated to either a six-speed torque converter or a six-speed manual transmission. The same transmission used to come in the Polo as well. And the other one being the more powerful 1.5 liter Evo TSI motor, which puts out 150 PS and 250 Nm of torque. which comes mated to a 6 speed manual or a 7 speed twin clutch dsg and this one comes with a cylinder deactivation technology which shuts down two cylinder when they are not in use for better efficiency so yeah guys that was it about the engine specs this variant standing right in front of me is the gt trim which comes with a 1.5 motor paired with a 6 speed manual gearbox and because of this sole reason this is the best variant to choose because with that massive 1.5 motor the best way to extract power is through a 6 speed manual gearbox and this variant offers that and it also gets a decent equipment list so i feel this is the best variant to choose from the tiguan lineup coming to the wheels you get goodyear tires up front with 16 inches alloy wheels the higher trims get a 17 inch one so that is bit of a cost cutting done there the overall size of the tire is 2056r16 also you get brake disc wiping for the front disc brakes and you get rear drums for the you get drum brake setup for the rear along with the front differential lock in the tiguan with these not so wooden silver alloy wheels which do look premium in my opinion moving on you have got the gt branding on the side fenders which tells that this is the 1.5 tsi motor and this gt trim is based on the highline trim which is the mid spec variant of the tiguan lineup coming to this these are the electrically adjustable and retractable outside rear view mirrors which have also got the turn indicators on them Coming to the door handles these are finished in the body color and this trim that is the highline trim does, does not get the keyless entry or the request sensor so that is quite okay also i love the small detailings like the Volkswagen branding on the b pillar so thumbs up to that also there are there are these roof rails which are actually functional and have a load bearing capacity up to 250 kg so that is a pretty nice touch along with the micro antenna on the rear as well 
So coming to the rear wheels, these are the same size as the front, and also you have got you have got drum brakes on the rear, and uh, there is this black cladding running all over the lower half of the body, lower part of the body, which actually really goes which actually goes really well with the particular shade with this particular shade, that is some sort of greyish I feel. So now coming to my most favorite part of the Tigan, which has to be the rear, and this is how the Tigan looks from the rear profile. So you have got this infinity LED tail lights running all over the rear, and this looks so good, man. This is the Volkswagen logo, and below it is the reverse parking camera, and at the bottom you can see the Tigan branding and the GT branding on the bottom right, along with the three parking sensors on the bumper. So what if you want to differentiate the one liter Tigan from the 1.51 without any visual differences? So to do that, you have to bend down and see the number of exhaust tips. The 1.5 liter has dual exhaust tips, whereas the 1 liter has only a single exhaust tip. So coming to the boot, you have got a three, you have got a 385 liters of boot space along with the 60/40 split seat function and a luggage ramp. You also have a spare wheel, which is not an alloy and a size smaller. So yeah, that is pretty good about the boot space, and you also get a parcel tray, and this is a handle to close the boot as well. So coming to this, this is the rear wiper, whose quality could have been marginally improved for sure, and along, and you also get the defogger, high stop lamp, and a micro antenna. Coming to the fuel tank, you have got the 50 liters of fuel tank, which can be automatically unlocked when the car is unlocked. So yeah, guys, that was pretty much about the exterior of the Volkswagen Tiger. Let me know let me know what do you think about it in the comment section below and yeah So now guys we would be coming to the interiors of the Volkswagen Tiguan GT and let me just unlock it right away and starting from the door handles there are no request sensor or keyless entry on this trim so that's about it so let me just enter inside Volkswagen branding on the B pillar as i've mentioned before so starting from the seats itself you have got leather fabric upholstery on them and they are the and these are the controls for the height adjustments and coming to the doors you have got all four power windows obviously but surprisingly they are not all auto up or auto down so that is a miss also you have got these controls for the outside rear view mirrors as well and yeah coming to these these are the buttons for the lock and unlock of the doors and they feel nice to operate so sitting inside let me just put in the key and again no push button start on or anything like that on this trim coming to this side these are the controls for the lights and if you just pull it towards yourself the fog lamps will get switched on on the left hand side you have got the headlight leveler as well also you have got this email lighting and coming back to the switches all the buttons are illuminated so this is how the instrument cluster of the Tiguan looks like tachometer on the left along with the temperature warning and the speedometer on the right with the fuel level warning as well coming to the steering wheel this is how the steering wheel of the all new Tiguan looks like and it is unlike the two spoke unconventional steering wheel which you see in the Kushak so you have got the controls for, for the infotainment on the left hand side and also you get the steering wheel leather wrapped so yeah that is pretty nice and also you have got this tilt and telescopic adjustment for the steering wheel as well so this is how the instrument cluster looks like of the Tiguan and you've got all the controls for it on the right hand side of the steering wheel so you can change it from here so here you can see the usual usual information like the speed distance to empty travel time range fuel economy oil temperature vehicle status driving data audio controls audio controls and so on so yeah on the right hand side you've got the controls for the wipers and like the other indian cars where you get the controls on the left like the wiper con wiper controls on the left you get this on the right hand side and on the left you've got the controls for the indicators as well starting from the center console you have got a sliding armrest underneath which you have got some storage space moving on this is the manual handbrake of the car along with two cup holders and some space to keep your keys over here and this is the six speed manual gearbox of the Tiguan GT and the Tiguan also comes with the DQ200 DSG gearbox with the 1.5 TSI engine this is a 12 volt 12 volt power socket and around here you have got some space to keep your stuff and also you have got wireless charging so that is pretty cool and also you have got two usb type c cable port so this is the automatic climate control of the tygoon and I, and it is completely touch operated and personally i do not like it at like it at all because while driving you have to keep your eyes off the road to change the settings so coming to this this is the hazard light switch and uh, on the right you have got this engine start stop button
कमिंग टू दिस दिस इज द टेन इंच इंफोटेनमेंट सिस्टम विच गेट्स वायरलेस एंड्रॉइड ऑटो एप्पल का प्ले एंड द ट्रैक्शन ऑन ऑफ बटन ओवर हेयर सो अलॉन्ग विद वेरियस ड्राइविंग डेटा एस यू कैन सी हेयर इट हेज ऑल्सो गॉट प्री लोडेड एप्स एंड कनेक्टेड कार टेक विच यू कैन एक्सेस वाई अर फोन सो दैट फिटी मच अबाउट इट ऑल्सो इट हेज गॉट द रिवर्स पार्किंग कैमरा सो कमिंग टू दिस दिस इज द ड्राइवर एंड वाइजर विच हेज ऑल्सो गॉट द टिकट होल्डर एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो गॉट अ हैंडल ऑन द ड्राइवर साइड वेल दैट्स यूनिक and coming to the center you have got these lights and surprisingly there are no sunglass holder so that is a miss and yeah coming to the passenger and visor you have got a mirror with no lights as such and yeah on the safety front you get dual airbags abs with ebd along with electronic stability control tire pressure monitoring system traction control seat belt warning over speed warning speed sensing auto door lock child safety lock brake disc wiping isofix child seat mounts and geo fence alert also there is a lot of hard plastics on this car like on the top of the dash and even at the bottom the cost cutting is very evident with these hard plastics all around also we've got this nice carbon finish on the dashboard which looks pretty nice and that's pretty much about it coming to the glove box it's a cool one and you have got the decent space to keep your stuff over here and you can change the cooling intensity from here the quality does not feel good enough for this of this knob and yeah this is a door handle with no seat belt adjustment for the drive for the passenger and obviously you've got adjustable headrest on the front also you have got front two tweeters along with four speakers on the front so there is this one thing which i would like to address from the safety point of view so this is the button for the lock and unlock of the doors right so what if you lock all the doors from this button the button will get illuminated right stating that all the doors are locked but what if you try to open the passenger door once so if you do it the lock button will get disabled like the illumination will go off and if by any chance there is a child sitting in the front he or she can easily open the door while fiddling from it like one time the door will get locked but after fiddling it once the door will automatically get unlocked obviously so just a mere thought that in this case the usual locks would have been appreciated and yeah never make small children make never make small children sit on the front seats coming to the rear starting from the doors itself we have got bottle holders in the rear along with the power window switches and although the tiguan and kushak are the lowest in length at 4 to 2 mm the space inside is actually pretty good thanks to its class leading wheelbase at 2651 mm so the knee room is great and also have got great headroom if you are a 6 feet person like me also you have got three adjustable headrests at the rear which is really great coming to the bottom you have got rear ac vents along with two type c charging ports also you have got this arm rest which has got two two holders so pretty nice and comfortable so the battery of this particular car died while i was shooting this video and hence the rear interior white lights are not switching on and switching on at the moment and yeah that is a pretty ni- pretty nice touch in my opinion also this is how the complete dashboard of the tycoon looks like from the rear and yeah that is pretty much about it the under thigh support is lacking though but that is not a huge is- issue as such So yeah that was pretty much about the Tiger GT which is based on the Highline trim and yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the video and yeah peace out So yeah guys that was the video about the Volkswagen Tiger so i hope you liked it and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the video and yeah keep smiling stay positive and all that stuff and yeah this is my college yeah so yeah thanks for watching bye bye